that's what I like about our offense and just our team in general is that we don't we don't let down. And even though they were coming back and they got up at one point, the mentality was just the same. We just have to sit back and execute the plays, and we trust our coaches and the plays uh, that we run to uh, get us back into the football game. We got a we got a slew of Southland games here where you know what you better play well up front or you're not going to win. I mean it's a it gets real simple sometimes. But uh, I'm super proud at the way those guys uh, are, are are number one practicing, but number two how they kind of put they put together a four quarter game there. The bottom line is it's about big people. It comes down to the offensive line and the defensive line and how they perform because. If they don't perform well, it makes it makes everything tough on everybody else. All the little skill players that score all these touchdowns, and a lot of times that doesn't happen when when your offensive line is is, is not playing well. I think what's special is that 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 they bond as a group, and that um, with each game they come more experienced and in, into their position, and they continue to beat on their craft every week. So with every game that passes, they're just getting better and they're understanding their position more. And I think towards the end of this season, they're gonna finally just get, get it and roll. And it's gonna, there's no more gonna be thinking, it's just gonna be reacting. And that's what we're looking forward to. What I'm looking forward to is getting him getting him out and getting him loose more and more. And because uh, that's fun football now. We're, we're, we're running, throwing, all of a sudden you see 22, you know, running for a 50 yard touchdown. That's fun stuff. It was good. It was a good outing. I just uh, just played really hard and I just ran really fast and tried to run really fast at times. And I just think that um, it was just a showing of the old line. Yeah, I, yeah, you can expect it from here on out. I think it, I, I'm the type of dude that uh, likes to warm up, and uh, I'd like to say I'm warmed up now. So. Hey, the UCA's got a quality team. Uh, it doesn't take long to, to watch them, to figure out, all right, these guys can play. Uh, we're going to do things to, to where we can get the ball out. We're still going to be able to run the ball. I think we can run the ball on them. Uh, and we're still going to be able to throw the ball. And so we're not going to become one-dimensional simply because their defensive line is so good. We're going to face quality D-lines for the rest of the uh, uh, conference schedule. Uh, offensively, they are sim very similar to us in that they're going to try to be balanced. They're going to run the ball. They believe in running it. They believe in throwing it. A lot of play action. Uh, they probably take more shots down the field than anybody that we've played so far. Uh, so we've got to be ready to, uh, you know, to be able to stop the run, but not let them go over the top w uh, with a with a big pass. So the matchup is going to be interesting. Uh, it should be good. It should be a fun game to watch, to play in, to coach in, uh, and it'll be it'll be a little bit different for me. That would be the first time uh, that I'm going back to the Estes Stadium as the enemy. You know, I hadn't been the enemy there before, so it'll be uh, it'll be interesting for me, but it'll be fun and. Uh, uh, so we, we look forward to it. We're having a good good week of practice, and uh, hopefully at the end of the week we'll put together a three hours of quality football.